off in the Salvatore Mile. Bright Future bounced into the bridle right away. He caught an alert beginning and going to the front. That's Artorias who's going to take back now. Mo Visitor and Oscar Eclipse. Oscar Eclipse going into the turn is the leader here. Oscar Eclipse getting to the rail and leads by a length and a half from Coastal Mission who takes the second position. Bright Future inside of Shrill Spite around the clubhouse turn and then comes Mo Visitor in the fifth position. Two and a half lengths off the pace. A length and a half to a line of three at the back. Sherlock's Jewel. Artorias between horses and Stage Raider is three deep on the course. Compact group just four lengths from first to last. Oscar Eclipse is an arrow leader. Coastal Mission hounding him. A length and a half to a line of runners. Shrill Spite still between horses. Mo Visitor outside and Bright Future and a good gallop. The grade one winner down on the inside of that pair. A length and a half to another trio. Line up at the back. They're all still together. Artorias Stage Raider in the three path and Sherlock's Jewel is down on the inside. Any one of the eight could win it as they go into the far turn. Oscar Eclipse, Coastal Mission, turns up the pressure, sticks the head in front, and Oscar Eclipse is in the second position now, sent to log. Mo Visitor getting closer, three deep. Bright Future has plummeted back to the sixth position while in tight on the rail. He needs to really pick it up. He's sixth, and right now just plotting in place at the top of the lane. Mo Visitor looking for the upset, takes the lead. Coastal Mission fighting very, very tenaciously to the end. Mo Visitor, Coastal Mission, and now Bright Future finds the right running style to kick on and Bright Future, look at that Bright Future, the class prevails wins the Salvatore Bile Coastal Mission second Mo Visitor third, both runners had every chance to beat the grade one winner but they could not Start They're off in the 40th Breeders' Cup Classic and Arabian Night storms out of the gate. Saudi crowd couldn't get to the front as Arabian Night immediately comes to the inside and will grab the front end as they race by us for the first time. Saudi crowd is forced to go to the outside. Derma Sotagake is next. White Mario is fourth. And then it's Zandon alongside of Proxy. Five links off the lead. Miss the cut is next. After that comes on the outside bright future. A three-wide dreamlike. Clapton along the rail. The trailers are Senor Buscador and a ground-saving Ushman. Tesoro. Around the first turn they go. And Arabian Knight is the leader through a 22.46 opening quarter mile. He was rushed to the front end here. The pace is hot. Saudi Crown a length and a half behind. White Mario stocks in third. Derma Sotagake is fourth. He's three and a half lengths off the lead. Then it's Zandon. Three back to proxy alongside of Miss the Cut. Ushpa Tesoro has moved out of the back of the pack now. He's nine lengths behind up the back stretch. And then it's Dreamlike Clapton and Senor Buscador. Bright Future Trails 45.73 was the half mile for Arabian Knight, who leads it by three quarters of a length. Saudi Crown on the outside second. White Apario continues to stalk the top two as they race for the far turn. Derma Sotagake has come under pressure. So too Sand, and they're both being asked to run. As is Ushpa Tesoro, and he's nine legs off the lead around the far turn. Arabian Knight, White Apario circles up on the outside. Saudi Crown all out between those two. Then it's Derpa Sotagake. Ushpa Tesoro is beginning to move on the outside, but work to do as White Up Barrio and Arabian Knight turn for home together in the Breeders' Cup Classic. White Up Barrio has taken the lead. Arabian Knight gives way. Derpa Sotagake and Ushpa Tesoro are trying to close the gap, but it is White Up Barrio and a Brad Ortiz, and they have won the Breeders' Cup Classic. They're off in the Jockey Cub Goat Cup. And Bright Future is out very quickly. Warrior Johnny has speed and takes the lead. And Proxy, once again, much closer than usual along the rail. Tyson had a little bit of a brush out of the gate. Duke of Love is racing on the outside of him. And then it's Rattle and Roll, followed by Clapton. And down at the rail, Unbridled Bomber is at the back of the field. So it will be Warrior Johnny through a very quick opening quarter mile, sprinting away to lead it by about two and a half lengths. Bright Future is in second. Tyson takes third. And Proxy along the rail right there, matching strides with Tyson. It's another two and a half. Duke of Love is three wide, racing on the outside of Rattle and Roll. Unbridled Bomber inside of them. And Clapton at the back of the field. Down the back stretch in the Jockey Club Gold Cup. And it is Warrior Johnny leading by a length and a half.
Bright Future tracking him in second. Tyson, Proxy still right together. Rattle and Roll has inched a little bit closer to that pair. Duke of Love is next. A half went in 48 and 4 fifth seconds. Unbridled Bomber and Clapton has been at the back the entire way. They're moving past the half mile pole. Warrior Johnny, Bright Future continue a 1 2 battle. Tyson inching up now, making his move three deep in third. He's only a length off the lead as they move through three quarters in 114 flat. On the extreme outside, Duke of Love. Proxy is just behind horses, needs some racing room. Rattle and Roll needs to do better. In the meantime, Clapton launches a very wide bid as the field turns for own Bright Future is up to take the lead. Tyson, there's a beautiful spot for Proxy in between if he's good enough. And Bright Future has a length and a half lead with a furlong left to go, running strongly. Proxy, center of the track, Clapton and Tyson. Bright Future digging in. Proxy's trying to get him. Bright Future or Proxy. Bright Future, Proxy. Here's the line. Photo finish. Bright Future and Proxy in a jockey. And they're off. Constitution Lawyer had a rough beginning. Curbstone was off slowly. Artorias is up and on the pace. Montauk Point on the outside. And Speed Bias comes quickly through along the rail. And Speed Bias will set the pace. Hugging the rail and opening up a length and a half in the first couple of furlongs. Bright Future moves into second. Artorias on the outside. And the Reds tucked in on the fence. Now third. About two lengths off the pacemaker. They're followed by Curbstone. Constitution Lawyer is racing in between horses. Montauk Point is out deep along with Major Blue in a gap of three. Back to Kuchar. 24 and two for the opening quarter and speed bias sailing along uncontested on the front end. Bright Future in second with the Reds at the rail in third. Artorias races along in fourth. They are followed by Major Blue, who's widest of all. Montauk Point is about five lengths off the lead. Down on the inside, Constitution Lawyer, followed by Curbstone and Kuchar. Rounding the far turn, Luis Saez and Speed Bias letting it out a notch. The half went in 48 and three-fifths seconds. And now, Bright Future trying to challenge in second. Speed Bias repelling that bid at this stage. Artorias Pink Cap inches up on the outside of the Reds, who's down at the rail. Three quarters in one minute, 12 and two-fifths seconds. And it's Speed Bias turning for home in front. Bright future, Artorias on the outside trying to find his best stride and he'll need it to get to speed bias. And bright future, bright future has taken the lead in mid stretch and his hand ridden to a three length lead. Artorias battling with speed bias but only to complete the exact bright future. Much the best. Strides out powerfully to win it by four. Speed bias holds second, Artorias third, the Reds was fourth.